season of resolutions, right? And I know probably a very popular one for 2021 will be more mindful, conscious eating. I know a lot of people are switching to plant-based diets or just supplementing more plant-based products into their diet. And what I love about Rayleigh's, of course, is they make sure no matter what your diet, you have the best ingredients possible to you know, get the food that you need, that you want for yourself. Uh, one of the products that they have available, I'm so excited about it, is called Good Catch. It's a plant-based seafood product, which I hadn't heard of before. Uh, that's why I'm particularly excited to try it and particularly excited to introduce our guest today, uh, Good Catch's corporate chef, Peter Cervoni. Chef Peter, thanks so much for zooming in with us. Oh, it's my pleasure, Molly. It's really great to see you. And uh, also thanks to, to Rayleigh's. We're really excited about our partnership uh, with you guys out there on the West Coast. So what we're going to do today, Molly, is we're going to start first with our deli style recipe, which you can find on our website, goodcatchfoods.com. Then you just click on the recipe link. This to me is probably still of all the things we've created over the last two and a half, three years. This is probably still my, my favorite recipe, primarily because this is the way I remember eating tuna salad as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, and, and being a vegan for so long, that was something that I absolutely loved. I probably ate it every day for, for lunch when I was in college for four years. Um, but now this is something that we can, we can do. And then once we create the, the deli style, we're going to go right into a tuna melt. I know you're a big fan of, of uh, tuna melts. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know who is not. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, the tuna itself. Okay. So as you can see here. It looks like tuna. Right, it has the, it, it's, uh, it's beautiful chunk, and, and what's really nice is it has the, has the texture and also the bite of, of, um, of actual albacore tuna. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna empty this here into a bowl, and then we're gonna open up, just to show you how easy it comes out of the package. And those are the boys mm -hmm. on the back, that's Chad and Derek, their brothers who founded the company. Well, Chef, I'm curious because that looks so much like tuna to me. What, what are the ingredients in it? Uh, that's a great question. Everyone wants to know because it does really trick the mind and the palate uh, that it's tuna. It's a proprietary blend of six different legumes. We have pea, chickpea, soy, lentil, fava, and navy bean. And they were all selected specifically either for, uh, for taste, for texture, or for nutritional profile. So instead of just focusing on, on one crop, we kind of spread the, spread the love and spread the wealth. And, um, and then there's seaweed extracts for, for the flavor and also some, some seasonings as well. So um, this is what we have here. What I like to do for the deli style is I like to just break it up a little bit with a fork, not too much. Um, I like to do it this way, especially if we're going into a tuna melt, you want things a little bit more homogenous mm -hmm. um, when you put it on the bread so it doesn't kind of fall apart. So we're just mixing it up like that. Have you done a lot of taste tests with people, just not telling them it's plant-based? Well, we find a lot of times, especially at food shows, people just come and grab food and, you know, and, and run off. They, a lot of times they don't want to sit there and talk to salespeople or whatever. But there's so many people that will do that and then come back and say, this is the best tuna I ever had. Like, I want to buy this. Like, is it line caught? And we're like, no. And they're like, you know, is it from these waters? No, it's like, it's, it's plant-based. I mean, that must be so validating. Oh, 100%. You know, I mean, because we knew the vegans would come for this. And they, they you know, they obviously have been, uh, you know, very, very supportive. And, and we absolutely appreciate it. But, you know, we're not doing this just for the vegans. We're doing this for the planet. We want, you know, we're doing it for the health of the oceans and for the environment and also for the health of people. So um, it is, it is completely validating. And again, I mean, also from a culinary standpoint, when we can make something taste and look really good and people are blown away, then it's, you know, it's a win, 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 win. That's what we're shooting for. So I've mashed it up a little bit here. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to put a little lemon zest. So what I like to do, always try to buy um, organic lemons when you can. Um, but if you can't, actually, regardless of whether it's organic or not, um, I wash them really well. Sometimes you can even soak them in water. This takes off some of the wax and the chemicals. And then we're just going to run the zester over it like this. Put some lemon zest. So lemon zest is really nice because it will bump up the, uh, the lemon flavor and also add a little bit of sweetness without having to add more acid from the lemon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some lemon juice. 
So we're just gonna rub the lemon on the cutting board. That helps kind of uh, let the juice release inside. And then I know Chad loves to use his hand and put it through, but we're gonna do it into a strainer. So just half a lemon. Okay. And then we're gonna add some horseradish, uh, prepared horseradish. So um, the vegans, just one note, you have to be careful when you're buying horseradish, especially um, shelf stable, is that a lot of times it has egg yolks um, or whole eggs in them. So this is a refrigerated brand. Usually, I don't know what you have there on the West Coast, but Gold's is a, is a time-honored brand, and that's what we have here. Um, and I drain it really well, just because you don't want um, a lot of liquid in this dish, as you could imagine. So we're going to put the horseradish in, and then some Dijon mustard, which is so good mm -hmm. for so many things, <laughs> but especially in this, in this dish. And then we're going to put some plant-based mayo. We put the plant-based mayo in. We're going to mix that up. Another um, really important ingredient for this particular dish are capers. So mm -hmm. we have the, um, these are nonpareil. These are the smaller ones, which are fine to go in whole. So we're going to mix the capers in. And then uh, we're going to put some fresh dill, which is absolutely amazing. Yeah, love dill. We're going to do a chiffonade. You basically just kind of roll it up really tight, and then you just drag your knife across. And this gives you a nice, fine chop. And then I like, I love using these. This is a bench scraper. You can get them for like 50 cents at, a, at a, um, any kind of kitchen supply store. Parsley in this. So this is uh, Italian parsley. So the difference, you know, you'll see um, Italian parsley, which is the flat leaf. Um, this is the one that has all the flavor. The other parsley, while it's nutritionally really good, um, the curly parsley doesn't have a lot of uh, flavor in it. And then we'll do the same thing here. We just kind of gather it all up into a, a little kind of like cigar and then run it through. And it's called, again, it's called chiffonade, which I think if I'm not mistaken, is supposed to resemble like a chiffon, like a, uh, a, a very fine ribbon of fabric. So we'll put the parsley in there and then we're gonna use some celery. Um, I love celery in this, not only does it pr provide a lot of nutrition, but it provides a nice crunch and a, and a freshness to the, uh, to the dish as well. We're just gonna dice some celery. You know celery. how to make a sandwich. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> So we put the celery in there and then we're going to put some green onion. So again, like, you know, talking about not stressing over ingredients, um, red onion or shallot would also work really well in this. But again, we wanted to, we were shooting for, um, you know, some fresh from some freshness and, 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 and spring onion or scallion. They're a little, um, they're milder. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So we're going to add a little bit of uh, salt. I prefer using uh, Celtic sea salt, but Himalayan salt is, is really good. Um, as well. Not too much because there is some salt obviously in the capers and the Dijon and the, um, the plant-based mayo. And we'll add some black pepper. Always better uh, freshly cracked. I cracked it before we started. But again, if you don't have it, that's nothing to get stressed about. And so that's it. So it's a, it's a pretty, it's pretty simple. It's not a lot of ingredients, but you have this amazing um, deli style uh, tuna. And again, this could be, we, we've done this before because we, we do a lot of recipe testing. This is really good simply with like just plant-based mayo, a little salt, a little pepper and a squeeze of lemon. So if that's all you had, you're still, you know, you're still totally fine. And I noticed that you have there the, um, the Mediterranean, I do. So like the Mediterranean and Mediterranean and the oil and herbs mm -hmm. are really good right out of the, the package. Not to say that this isn't good, but I, um, I mean, because it is, but it's, it's, I don't know how many people just open up a can of regular tuna or a regular pouch of tuna and eat it as such. It usually calls for, you know, being dressed up. So um, what we can do, being that you have the Mediterranean there, um, we can make the, the, I'll make the tuna melt here with the deli style and you can make it with the Mediterranean. Awesome. I'm so Excellent. excited. <laughs> okay, cool. So 
what we're going to do, so yeah. I was able to find some really nice um, sourdough rye at the uh, supermarket. But again, any kind of bread, whatever your favorite bread is, regular sourdough, what do you have there? I have some uh, dark rye. Oh, that's perfect. That's yeah. really nice too. Yeah. And what we're going to do is I have some plant-based butter that okay. I just, um, I left out so it's, um, it's a little soft. So it's just easier to spread. Yeah, I've got some too. Excellent. And then we're just going to spread a nice layer. And you want to make sure you get total coverage on the bread. Okay. This will just help for the browning. So when you first started eating vegan um, mm -hmm. 20, almost 24 years ago, could you go to a store? I mean, could you walk into Rayleigh's or your own store and, and buy an entire you know, no. ingredient list of, I mean, to be able to provide that for consumers who are vegan is a, a pretty, it's a gift really. And we're gonna do both, uh, both sides mm -hmm. of the bread. Oh, both sides of the bread. Um, well, not both sides of each, we're gonna oh. do, the, we so, have two, we have, pieces. yes, yes. Yeah. both tops, so <laughs> to speak. Um, so now we have some plant-based cheddar. Oh yeah, I'm excited to try this. Have you had this kind before? Yes, dye is very good. I have some Violife here, which is also really good. And I'm gonna put two slices. So now we're gonna put the buttered side down on our cutting board. Okay. And we're gonna put two slices of cheese. Got it. And then we're just gonna put some tuna. And now again, you have the Mediterranean style. It works really great right out of the package. It is so you're really already, easy to open. I, <laughs> right? I know it's such a minor thing, but that was really nice. <laughs> so we're just gonna put some of the deli style right on there. Hold on this one second. This smells really nice, Chef. So now I'm gonna just move the camera here a little bit. We're gonna move to the kitchen stove here, rather. So did you say you had cheese on both slices and, of bread? Uh, or just one? You could just do uh, on one oh. side, but I'm going to put them. Uh, I'm going to put them on both. So I have a cast iron pan that we're going to heat up here. Okay. And uh, again, you know, a, uh, I prefer using cast iron, but uh, a nice like nonstick ceramic pan would would also work really well for this. If you have a panini press, um, that works uh, great too, which is nice because then you can get you know it'll cook quicker. You get both sides cooking at the same time. Okay, I'm going to put just a drop of oil in there. We don't need a lot, especially because we have well buttered the, the bread itself. How are you doing over there? Good? I'm just excited. Okay. Let's it's see your sandwich. How, how, how are we looking over there? Let me see. How many, how many packages did you put in your, in your sandwich? Just one? Just one. Should I put two? Uh, let's see. Let's, let, let me see. I can't see it. Maybe I need oh, that two. That looks good. Okay. No, that looks good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So again, you don't want the pan to get too hot. Just gonna put that in there. We're gonna let that cook for a little bit. So I started the pan off high. Now I'm just gonna kick it down to medium. And then I have, I think this is gonna be a little too heavy as a weight, mm -hmm. but um, I have another pan here. So once we flip the sandwich, um, we'll put the weight on and that'll help kind of um, melt the cheese a little bit more. So I'm gonna flip this now. You have to be a little careful when flipping it because sometimes you're gonna have, you're gonna lose a few little nuggets here and there. But you want a nice kind of golden color on that. I don't know if you can see it here. I'll use this camera. You can already see the cheese starting to melt. Now we're just gonna put this and make sure the bottom is clean. And we're just gonna, Put a weight on it here. And again, this is just gonna help the, the melting and it's just gonna kind of compact it really nice, nicely. Mm -hmm. And then I'll show you a little trick. We're gonna add, um, just to help things along, we'll add a little bit of water um, in the pan, on, uh, you know, on the pan, which will create some steam and that'll also kind of help finish the, uh, the melting of the cheese. What a great trick. 
when, when adding the water, you just need to be a little bit careful because you don't want to get any kind of, any flare ups. So again, with, with the, with the temperature on medium to low, you should be fine. And it's just a few drops and that, that will create some steam and that'll just kind of help the cheese uh, finish melting. So we're going to do that now. Okay. There you go. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and it probably evaporates so quickly so that it's not like making the bread soggy too, right? Correct. Right. And that's why you also don't want to add a lot of it either. Mm -hmm. But we are looking really good. The cheese is melted. What a great trick. So now what we're going to do is we have our tuna melt, which is mm -hmm. we have some nice color and it's nice and crispy. And then we're just going to take it off here, put it on our cutting board. And then, of course, we're going to put some flags because everyone has flags in their kitchen, right? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Darn it. Where are my flags? <laughs> we just ran out because we use them so much. <laughs> and there you have it. That is the Good Catch Tuna Melt. What do you think? Oh, really good. Look at see, that. See, yeah, you did, you did a, actually a much better job of the melting than I did. Um, and what's really nice is like, you know, again, going back to like following recipes and having fun with it, you just created a completely new, like you just created the Mali Mediterranean Good Catch Tuna Melt and it looks great. That's going on the website, right? <laughs> we can do it, sure. <laughs> Well, I, so I waited to try Good Catch until this segment, until this very, oh, wow. because I wanted you okay. to see my reaction to it. So. All right, rock and roll, my, here we go. My first plant-based tuna. Drum roll. That's incredible. Right? I mean, true, I mean, truly. Mm. Wow. And the flavors too, to think that I didn't have to add anything to that. Right. Oh my goodness. And again, I, this has been a lot of fun. I mean, it would have been great to do this in person, mm -hmm. but I think this is, you know, part of the whole 2020 thing. And, and, um, and, you know, again, what you guys are doing there and Rayleigh's and everything, we're, we're really excited to, to, to be partnering up with you guys. So thank yeah. you. Well, I'm grateful that despite COVID, we are still able to have these food sharing experiences. I'm grateful Absolutely. for Good Catch for what it's doing for, you know, people who choose to eat vegan and for the planet and for those who can't eat tuna. And I'm grateful for Rayleigh's for carrying products like this because Absolutely. honestly, what a gift. <laughs> I, I don't want to be rude, but I really want to go back to eating this sandwich. No, stuff. please keep doing it. I'm going <laughs> to dig into half of this myself when we're done. Here. Well, thank you. Congratulations and cheers to Good Catch. Making waves, right? Thank you so right? much. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good one. I like that. Yes, definitely making waves. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>